Hello, everybody. So once again, before I get started, I wanted to say if you want to leave a comment, uh, feel free to leave a comment. But if you could put your language combination, if you're a translator, or even if you're not yet a translator, you're aspiring translator, you're in the process of becoming a translator, whatever your language combination is, you know, if it's Arabic to Spanish, if you could just write Arabic to Spanish in parentheses, or if you want the abbreviated way, you know, however it is, and then your comment, something like that. Just so, once again, you know, you can get an idea of uh, what other people are commenting, what other languages pe other people are dealing with, and uh, stuff like that. I, th I think it'll be interesting, and I think it'll be useful for, uh, for you guys to uh, see what other languages people are dealing with. And maybe you can meet and get to know someone else who's dealing with your same language combination or one of your same languages. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, so today I want to talk about something that we all are going through and we go through a lot, at least I go through it a lot and all of you will go through it a lot. And uh, so I thought it's quite important and uh, that's failing. And I want to talk about failing, I want to talk about why I think you should fail and how I think you should fail. Uh, so I, I was, I kind of avoided this because it sounds so clickbaity to say, to do a video, you should fail, fail, stuff like that. And but, you know, there you go. I, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll sound clickbaity anyway. But let's get into it. So, uh, first of all, you should fail. Absolutely, you should fail. Why is this? Because you're trying something new. You're becoming a freelance translator. You're going into business for yourself. You're being an entrepreneur. You're doing something new. There, Nobody in the history of ever in the world has ever decided to do something like this and just done everything correctly right off the bat. I don't care how much research you do. I don't care how many books you write. I don't care how many of my videos you watch, how many courses you take or anything. You're going to make mistakes. And the important thing is to, first of all, make these mistakes, know how to make them and know what to do with them so you can move on. And uh, so that's what I want to cover. It's actually a huge part of what I do is, so uh, Seth Godin, he's probably the best marketer in the world. And in one of his books, he talks about, or maybe in one of his interviews, he talks about, he says his whole career is a series of failures with, you know, one or two successes here and there. And, you know, and it's true, uh, you know, because you don't need that many successes. You just need one success, quite frankly, and then you can build off that. But you're going to have a lot of failures in the meantime. And the important thing is not to let those keep you down and to use them and be able to leverage them as much as you can. So how do you do that? First of all, there are a couple things you should do. First of all, you should try to fail. You should try to fail quickly. And what, what do I mean by that? I mean, if you have a new strategy you want to try out, if you want to try contacting a bunch of uh, law firms and to do legal translations, if you want to contact firms via email or via phone or do this or that and the other, then you, need, you should absolutely try that and you should try that quickly. And which means you should shoot, at least the way I see it, is I shoot to fail quickly. Now, obviously, I'm not going to send out two emails, be like, well, that failed. Okay, what's next? Obviously, that you need to think ahead of time. Okay, I'm going to try this, but I'm going to give it a real shot. Say, you know, for a whole month, I'm going to email 20 different firms a day and, you know, continue with the follow-up or, you know, do something like that. And But you want to get a real feel for this, what works, what doesn't. And, uh, you know, if you're emailing, sending out 20 emails a day, uh, for a whole month, that's 20 times 30, that's uh, 600 emails. No, I can't do my math. Yes, that is 600 emails. Um, you know, 600 emails in a month and you don't get one response from that, then yeah, you know, you should get at least get a response, you know, from, from all those emails. Then you're doing something wrong. And, th and that's what I mean. You shouldn't wait and try to cater the email perfectly and find the perfect clients and this and that. No, you should be shooting these out right away. If stuff doesn't work, if people start getting mad at you, be like, okay, Something, you know, they're getting mad at me. Why are they getting mad at me? Maybe I sound really spammy. Maybe it's not what they want. Maybe I should target it better. Stuff like that. But that's what I mean. You can only learn from your mistakes by doing. So that means do them quickly, fail quickly, learn from them quickly. And uh, that's the main thing to do. When you try something, go out there right away and try it. You're going to fail. You're going to have to change stuff up, change something else up, change something else up until it works out. And th that brings me to my next point. When you do fail, see what it, why you failed. If you can pinpoint it, you know, see why maybe these emails worked and these didn't. Well, were these emails to a certain city and these weren't or something like, you know, whatever it might be, figure that out. It doesn't have to be emails. It can be, you know, your just whole your strategy of uh, the people you do business with. Some with some people you're more colloquial, some you're not. Sometimes you work on your translations in the evening, sometimes in the morning, whatever works best. Try to see what works and what doesn't. Every time you fail, every time something doesn't work out, 
try to see if you can pinpoint what it is. Now this might even include someone who says, we decided not to go with you to go with someone else. You can, you got nothing to lose at that point. Try shooting them an email. Be like, thank you very much. You, um, you know, it was, it was a pleasure to try, you know, to, I don't, you know, whatever you did to try to bid for this project or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm curious, you know, it really helped me out or I'm curious uh, as to why you didn't go with me. You know, and it might be sim something simple like the price was better or, you know, the turns were better or they had more experience or whatever it might be or it might be something else. But at least you know and you get an idea and you can work off that. So that's why. Fail quickly. Figure out why you failed if you can and then try to build off that and be like, okay, how can I correct this? You know, someone else has more experience. Okay, that means I need more experience. How do you do that? Well, I mean, I, that's what all my videos talk about, right? And um, and then uh, how, uh, you know, and try to figure out ways you can deal with it. And then you can keep building off of that. And then you're going to fail again after that. Trust me. And then try to figure out what you did wrong there and then go at it again. And then you're going to fail again. And then you keep doing this and you're going to get successes. And, um, and these successes are, so what I do, quite frankly, with the success is I kind of don't analyze it that much. I really try to take responsibility for my failures and try to see my successes as being very lucky. Uh, this might be wrong, but I feel it works better than the other. Most people do the other way. If they fail, they're like, well, it wasn't my fault. This was bad. That was bad. This and blah, blah, blah. And I hate that. And, um, you know, but rather the same people, when they get successful, they'll be like, well, yeah, it's all the effort I put in. It's this and that and the other, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, no, it can't be luck in one sense and not luck in the other. So if anything, I try to reverse it a bit. And when I do get successful, if something works out, I don't spend too much time asking why, but I double down on that. If suddenly I'm targeting law firms in London and I'm getting a great response, boom, I'm going all in targeting law firms in London and, you know, because I want all the response I can get. If something works out, I double down on that, you know, until it doesn't work out anymore. And then I try to see what happens and, uh, and why it didn't work out. So, uh, you know, look, I'll keep it at this because I can talk a lot more about failure and about how to do it, how to leverage it, how to learn from it and stuff like that. It really depends on different situations. I'm trying to keep it a bit general now, but by and large, you should look, it's all, always good to do research and to read up on things, but I think you should be doing while you do the research. Don't do the research ahead of time for like months or years before you even get started because you'll forget all the research you did by the time you start. Do it. You have to do it and then fail. Fail quickly. If something doesn't work out, you know, you tried Facebook marketing and you're just spending money and it doesn't work, forget it. Do something else. You don't have to be spending money to fail. You know, you can fail just as easily not spending money. So um, that's what I mean. Just try it, fail quickly, and learn from your failures as much as you can. And then you can build off that and you will build off that. And it gets a lot easier as you go along, by the way, because you start noticing certain patterns, certain things. You realize that you failed in the same way that you failed, you know, one other time with this other thing. And so you know exactly what to do and how to deal with it. And it becomes very satisfying too in that sense. So, um, so yeah, that's, this whole video is telling you to fail and uh, that I hope you fail, but that I hope you can use that failure and to leverage it to, so you can get success in the future. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all I want to say. I do think, again, you know, it sounds kind of like I'm one of these uh, motivational speakers, but I do think it's important. Uh, you're not going to not fail. You're, absolutely not. I don't care how much research you do. You will fail. So you might as well fail quickly. And you might as well try to learn from your failures. Um, you know, try to learn from other people's failures as well. That's a whole other thing, but you know, that's important as well. But every time you do fail, it gives you an opportunity to learn from it, to see what doesn't work and hopefully understand why and then keep going. By the way, if you can't figure out exactly why, don't worry about it that much. Um, you know, just try something else and then keep trying. There are a million other things you can try. So, you know, don't, let that stop you too much. Just try something else. Try a little tweak if you want. And then another little tweak later, another little tweak later, and then see what happens because you never know. Um, so anyway, hopefully you find this useful. I know it might sound a bit weird, but I really think if you apply this um, and, and you, then you start getting a feel for it and seeing how to apply it, it can really be helpful. And uh, also you start approaching things that failure is good and it's something that you need to go through to to uh, get ahead uh, because, d you know, don't expect that everything will be smooth sailing and it won't. Um, and so I don't want you to be discouraged by the first thing that goes wrong. You know, I want you to be able to fail quickly and fail often, but, you know, use that to achieve your success. So once again, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please don't forget to click thumbs up if you do, because then I can see what, you know, what works out and what is useful for everyone. 
And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, stay tuned. There'll be more videos dealing with freelancing, with freelance translation and stuff like that. And I will talk to you next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Sabedum.